Good morning, y'all. Excuse my messy dishes over there. Um, what I'm making, I'm cooking today. I mean, it's Friday. I always cook a lot on Fridays. It, but I'm making challah in a bag. It's not my original recipe. And uh, many of us, many of me and my friends, I guess I should put it that way, already make this because it's so simple. Actually, it's called the lazy person's challah in a bag. And this works when you have other things to do. So what you're going to need... Is a, gal is a gallon baggie and you're going to put three cups of flour in here which I've already got one so let me get the other two in and really this is pretty simple and you really don't get your hands all gooey or anything and it's cinnamon okay just water over there okay what I have in this cup if I can hold on to it is I have a tablespoon of yeast, uh, half a tablespoon of salt, and three tablespoons of sugar. Pour in. This is really all pretty easy. I'll shake it up a little bit. Okay. Then you're going to pour in a third a cup of oil. I have olive oil. I hope this is all showing. Kind of never can see because I have my camera aimed really well. And then warm water. You want a cup of warm water. I take mine to 110. Okay. So you're going to combine all that. That's all there is to it. And um, you're going to seal the baggie. Shake it up a little bit. We want to get the oil and water mixing with the flour, but you don't got to go to extremes on this by any means. Just shake it up a bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put this bag in a bowl of warm water for 30 minutes. So, my water's hot. I'm going to fill up a bowl. My water actually comes out about 110 degrees, so I'm all good to go on that. Okay, bowl of water, get this out of the way, and in it's going to go 30 minutes. I'll see you guys back here when the next step comes, but actually this is all there is to it at this point in time. Okay? So I'll see you right back here. Hi guys, back for step two. My 30 minutes is almost up. So what do you want, what I'm going to do now, because I have about a little over a minute left, is you're going to get out one extra quarter cup of flour. And as soon as my timer's done, you're going to get this out of the bowl. Um, shake the water off the bag, of course. You're going to open it up, let some of the air out, and dump the a quarter cup of flour in there and um, then you're just gonna let this sit for one hour if your house is warm enough you can put it on your table your counter wherever you want to you're gonna flip it over from side to side every 20 minutes um, my house this morning is about 64 degrees so actually I'm going to put it on a plate and just um, put it on the shelf on my south facing window because I know it's going to be warmer there. Not that it's cold in here. Who doesn't like free air conditioning? It's the bomb diggity. So, okay, I'm going to grab a plate. I'm just waiting for my timer to go off. And that's all, that's all there is left to do for this step. Like I said, it's going to sit for one hour. You flip it every 20 minutes. And the dough is going to be wet inside this bag. That's what makes it so good. So, let me grab a plate. Timer's about to go here. There we go. And just shake it to get the water off. I hope the camera's showing this. It's hard to see. Yes, it is, I think. Okay. Open her back up. Can you see in there? Is it showing? It's still kind of flowery and stuff in there, but that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Flour goes in. 
going to squish it a couple times. That's about all, actually. I've let the air out. So you're going to lay it on one side for 20 minutes. Flip it to the other side, and you're going to do this, obviously, three times. Okay, so it should start rising. It takes about an hour. It should start rising after that, so I'll be back. Sorry, guys. I forgot to bring you back when I was rolling it out, and, um, well, actually, I had gunk all over my hands, and, um, <laughs> I don't want to mess with my phone. Um, so what I've done is I let it sit for the the hour. Actually, I put it, put it in my sunny window, and so you then, like I said, it's going to be a very wet dough. That's what makes it really taste good is because it's so wet. Um, you're going to take it out, put a little bit of flour on your counter, separate it into three strands, braid it however you want. I kind of like the round. Um, then you're going to brush it with a beaten egg. And you can use um, sesame seeds, flax seeds. I'm doing chia. Brush it with your egg wash. Helps it brown up nicely. Sprinkle it with the seeds if you choose to. If not, you don't have to. Completely, totally up to you. Just think it makes it look really pretty. There we go. Then you're going to let this sit for 15 minutes. And after the 15 minutes of it rising, then you're going to bake it in your oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 Celsius for about 40 minutes till the top turns golden brown. And I am making this this week because I have plans for it. Um, I don't know, since some of you are in various locations, we have a restaurant here that's called Panera's. And they strive to use really good quality foods. And so with this hala, I am making their turkey apple burgers. They are very kind to put the recipes online for anybody to use. So that's what this is going to be for. When this puffs up nice and beautiful, I'm going to use this as buns for my burgers.